Hi guys, my name is Nawanda, founder of Move With Purpose, and today we're going to do a quick home athletic Pilates workout. Nice and intense, so let's get ready. So we have weights for today and a Pilates ball. You can use a pillow instead if that feels better, if that's all you have available. For weights, I'm using three pounds. You're more than welcome to use something a little heavier. Or you can use bottle of wines, cans, anything that you might have that would be useful for arm work. So let's get started. You're gonna come onto all fours, place the ball in between your knees, and we're going to start with a nice cat and cow stretch here. Inhale as you tuck the tailbone under, round the spine, look at your knees, open your chest, inhale, tuck. Great way to warm up the lower back as well, lengthen that lower back, two more. Doing some neck rolling or hip rolling, if that feels good. Last one. And then you're going to come on all fours here. Nice and neutral spine. You're going to curl the toes under. From here, you're going to straighten the legs, lower the chest. You're gonna bring your right arm towards your left toes. Bring your right hand down, lower your knees to a hover. Exhale, straighten the legs. Left arm reach for your right ankle, and then back to center. Keep alternating here at your own pace. Nice and easy, easy enough, but nice and control is what we want to go for. And then we're here for six, we're here for five. In four, you're going to come back on all fours. In three, in two, one. Coming back onto all fours. From here, you're going to curl the toes under, lift the knees, you're in a full plank. And hold. Right hand is gonna tap your left shoulder. Switch, keeping the hips as square as possible. And then switch, switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, straighten the legs, hold, walk your hands to your feet, roll all the way up to standing, and we're gonna go into a nice squat here, bring your hands to your heart, press the hips back, and then straighten the legs, inhale, squat, and then straighten. Each time you straighten the legs, really squeeze your glutes, pull the abs in, squat, and straighten, eight, seven. So really feel the connection from your hamstrings and glutes, making sure your knees are not going over your toes. Four, three, two. Hold that squat here for me. Hold a little bit deeper. Lift your heels. Good. And then lower your heels. So notice when I do that, I'm not bouncing up and down. Seven, Six, five, each time you lift the heels, pull the lower belly in. Four, three, two, lift the heels here, uh-huh. Lower the hips down one inch, up one inch. Down one inch, up one inch. Seven, so really squeeze underneath that glute for six. Inner thighs should start to shake, five. Four, three, two, hold, squeeze the ball, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, extend the arms forward, hold it here, five, four, abs are in, three, two, lower your heels, dive down, walk yourself into a plank, and hold here, and deep breath, inhale, exhale. Let's start to warm up those obliques. Dip your right hip to the right, center. So having that ball is gonna force me to not use my legs as much, right? So when you do your hip dips, you're trying to really connect to those obliques. So when you dip, keep the feet stable. Yes, seven, six, you're gonna feel your obliques a lot more intensely, five, Four, 
three, two, one, come all the way down. Place the ball to the side for a moment. You're going to grab on to your weight here. And then you're going to extend the left leg laterally to the right side. So from here, you're going to bicep curl your arm. We're going to go down and left, down and left. Keeping the spine tall, the hips are pressing forward. So we want to avoid sticking our booty back to start. We're here for six, five, four, three, two, one. You're going to hold here. You're going to hinge forward. Now bring your hips back. That's going to engage your hamstring and glute. You're going to feel a nice stretch in your inner thigh. Lift the hip. Extend the arms forward. Hinge forward. Lift the hips. And then forward. You're going to feel a little bit more work into your right biceps here. Seven. So your entire right side is working. Your right glute, right hamstring, and your right bicep. And shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold here. Uh-huh. Soften the elbow. Soften your left knee if that feels better. And then we're going to pulse that arm up here. And then we pulse. And then we pulse. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, hold. Now lean forward, bend the elbows, the right elbow to your side. Extend, bend, extend. We're here in a nice isometric hold for your glutes, your right glute and hamstring. Six, five, four, three, two, one and come all the way up switch inside extend the right leg squeeze your left glute and then we bicep crawl here down and up down and then lift good each time you bicep crawl here keep the abdominals nice and strong good for eight seven if you're not feeling enough, bring your elbow a little higher. Five, four, if you're starting to feel your neck, bring that elbow a little lower. Three, two, one. Let's add the glute and hamstring. Hinge forward, stick the butt back, keep the inner thigh nice and active here, and then extend the arm forward. Inhale, lower, and lift. If that doesn't feel so good on your knee to go up and down, stay lifted and then just keep going here with the arm. So you also have that option if that doesn't feel so good on your knee. Wait here for six, five, four. Each time you lift that hip, really squeeze your left glute. Three, two, one, we're going to extend hold and then pulse here. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Bend the elbow, hinge forward, stick that booty back. Extend the arm forward and in. Forward and in. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and come all the way up. Place your weight to the side, staying off your knees for a moment. You're going to bring your hands behind the back of the necks once you're down on your back. Great. Really cradle that neck and head. You're going to lift your chest in an ab curl. Inhale, lower the chest. Exhale as you lift. You're walking towards your knee and navel each time you lift the chest. Adding on. As you lift your chest, lift the left leg to tabletop, and then lower. And then we're going to switch sides. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. And then exhale, lift. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You're going to lift the 
chest here, hold. Left leg tabletop, right leg tabletop, hold here. We're gonna hinge at the hips, lower the right thigh bone, and then lift it back. Bring your left thigh bone. So this is gonna take care of your lower back. Notice my lower back doesn't start to arch. So when we go down, we think of your lower abs activating that movement. Elbows are where you can see them. If the neck is feeling tired, you can bring your head down. And if you feel strain in your lower back, please don't have the toes touch the floor. We're here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center. Grab the back of your thighs. Lift the chest a little higher here. Now bring your hands here on the back of the neck. Shh, extend both legs, bend the knees. Shh, we're here for five. You got it. Four, three, two. Hold here and then come all the way down. Grab your ball, facing between your knees. Hands back of the neck. Exhale, lift. Shh. Each time you lift, squeeze the ball. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift the chest, hold. Bring the back of the hands, the back of your thighs. Lift the chest a little higher. Lift the legs. Bring your legs up to the ceiling. Your chest is still as lifted as you can. Point the toes, and then we're going to squeeze. Squeeze. Now let's take those hands out for more challenge and then squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold your squeeze, lift the chest a little higher, and then come all the way down. Grab onto your ball, grab onto your weight. Lift your arms up to the sky, lift all the way up. Bend the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades, extend your arms, roll down. And then we continue here. Now, now we're working on your upper back. Exhale as we lift. Squeeze shoulder blades, lift. Down. Upper back and core, of course. I can't leave you without giving you a nice core workout here. We're here for four. We're here for three. Two. Last one, lift, hold, bend the elbows, sweat, down, lift, six, five, four, three, two, one, extend your arms, roll halfway, hold here, we're just holding, and then you just hold five, we just hold four, three, two, and one, come all the way down, lie down on your back, lift your chest, hold. Bring your right leg up to the sky, grab onto the back of your thighs or calves, ankles, in front of your flexibility, right? Extend the left leg. Now pulse, pulse that right leg. One, two, switch. Shh, shh. Add that breath in, exhale twice, and switch. Shh, shh. And switch. Shh, shh. Keep looking towards your thighs, Neck feeling tired, keep the head down. That's your modification. We're only here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come all the way up. Getting towards the end, everyone. Come back onto all fours and hold here. Bring your right leg straight behind you. Lift the right leg, bend the elbows, push ups and then straighten. Good. Elbows are widening. And then push up. Six. Five. Notice how high my leg is kicking when my chest is down. Three. Two. One. Hold here. Right foot down. Left foot comes up. You're in a plank. Hold it here. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, come all the way down. Extend the left leg behind. Square your hips. Tricep push up. Bend the elbows. You're narrowing by your waist. 
good. And then we eat. Six. Five. You can do it, guys. We're almost there. Four. Leg raise even higher. Three. Two. One. Straighten your arm. Lower your left foot. You're in your plank. And then let's finish here, guys. Right knee. Left knee. Right knee. Those are your mountain climbers. Right knee. Left knee. Inhale. Exhale. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Take your child's pose. And release here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lift the chest, right foot forward, press your hips forward. And then straighten your front leg, stretch your hamstring. Alternate between both. And then flex. Switching side. Nice work, everyone. Forward. And then straighten. Bringing your left foot behind, straighten the legs, chest goes down, and let your head hang. Walk your hands to your feet slowly, soften the knees. Head heavy, shaking your head, yes. Inhale, yes, to the hard work we just put in. Shaking your head, no. Releasing that negative energy and tension. And then roll all the way up. Tuck, 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 roll up, standing nice and tall. And we did it for the day. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day.